Hey, good morning, guys. A little excited this morning. You know, back in 1979, when my wife and I got married, I told my new bride, I said, someday I'm going to buy a Colt Government 45 1911. She said, all right. We actually went down and looked at them. A brand new one back then was $210, and I just could not afford it. Now, over the last several decades, I've owned a number of 1911s, but none of them ever said Colt on them. Woke up the other morning, I said, you know what, I'm not getting any younger. Time to get that Colt. So I went down, looked at them, and absolutely fell in love with this one right here. It is unloaded, by the way. This is a Colt Government Competition Series. It's a special edition. It has a blue titanium Cerakote finish on it. And you know, I was looking for something a little different, something that I wasn't, I didn't, I didn't want something plain that I was going to trade off in a few years. I wanted something a little different that I knew I was going to keep, that I knew I was going to pass down to my son someday. And you know what? This is going to be it right here. But what we have is, it's an all stainless pistol. As you can see, the slide is stainless, barrel stainless, the frame is stainless. It comes with two eight round stainless magazines. So we're going to go over it real quick. I'll show you some close up photographs. And um, I haven't shot it yet, so I'm anxious to get some rounds in it. Um, we're going to break it in with some. Uh, uh, full metal jacket rounds and then we'll shoot some hollow points but again competition series now I used to shoot a lot of competition so again I'm kind of anxious to try this out and uh, but let's take a quick look at it and then we'll do some shooting I mean to me that's just an absolutely beautiful pistol it does have again it is unloaded does have a fully adjustable rear sight made by Novak. It's got a fiber optic front sight. Very easy to see. As you can see, everything is stainless there except for the trigger and the rear sight. And of course the grips. I think they call that a G10 grip. But Again, two eight round magazines. Got a pretty decent trigger pull on it. It's not great, but you know what? It is adjustable. So after I get home today, I probably will adjust that a little bit. Not a bad trigger. So, tell you what, let's load up these two eight round magazines, get shooting this because I want to get it broke in and we're going to shoot some hollow points and um, just have a lot of fun with it. I'm going to shoot some Remington ball ammo just to see uh, see where it's hitting and uh, just to get the feel of the, the pistol. Hey, uh, next I'm going to shoot some of these uh, Remington Golden Saber 185 grain jacketed hollow point plus P. Okay, we're going to shoot this jug of water with a plus P hollow point, and I do have earplugs in, by the way. And I've got my GoPro set up down there.
one in right there and just tore it up pretty good. And yes, I always pick my trash up when I'm done shooting. Hey guys, I'm going to shoot some semi wad cutters and what that is, is this bullet right here. Basically it's just a plain lead bullet, kind of shaped a little different. Um, if you shoot competition and you shoot a lot, competition shooters are going to shoot these because they're fairly inexpensive to reload and I don't know if you can see it or not, but there's a sharp shoulder right here on the bullet and when you shoot a paper target that shoulder leaves a nice round hole in the target makes it easy to score some guns don't like shooting these so I'm gonna load up a batch in these magazines and uh, see what this Colt thinks of these semi wad cutters okay let's try these semi wad cutters let's see what happens I'll shoot some more of those semi wad cutters, but I think this pistol is uh, going to shoot them just fine. Hey guys, next I'm going to try some of this Federal aluminum. You know, some pistols just don't like aluminum cased ammo. So let's put a few rounds through this and uh, see what it thinks of this ammo. Let's start off with eight rounds of aluminum. Okay, so far so good. Let's uh let's just start having some fun. Hey son, I got a still plate, 45 yards. I bet you can't hit it with one shot. Hold my beer. <laughs> Hold your beer? Alright. Whoa, nice shot. That was root beer, by the way, guys. Here you go. <laughs> gotcha. Man, it sure is hot out here, son. How hot is it out here, Dad? Well, I just happened to have a thermometer. Look at that. It is 109.3 degrees. See that? That's, that's no lie. So, we're going to show you how we cool off in the Nevada desert on a hot day like this. You ready, son? Yep. All right, let's do it. Oh, that cooled me off a little bit. All right, let's use something else. In all fairness, he did beat me in an earlier competition. So that's true. Good, jo good job, son. Thank you. Hey guys, we're gonna hang it up. It's pretty hot out here, but I'll tell you what. I absolutely love this Colt. It's a 40-year dream I've had to own one. Finally got it. Absolutely love it. My son and I, we put about 200 rounds through this, using various ammo, different after market magazines and not one single problem 
competition series. So is it ready for competition? Well, if I was going to use this, I would make a few changes. I would put a flared magazine well on it to make magazine changes faster. I would put an oversized magazine release on it. I would also put an extended slide lock or slide release on it. And I would put an ambidextrous safety on it. And once I do all that, it is going to be ready for competition. Anyways, love the gun. I appreciate you guys watching my video. And we'll see you next time.